Hi, I'm Eric Martin, and this is Cooking the Books. Cooking the Books is a new show that bridges the gap between the professional chef and the beginning cook. I like the idea of being right in the middle of the two. Each week, we'll take a different recipe from a classic cookbook, show the audience how to prepare that meal traditionally, and also give pointers on how they might add their own unique twist. Then we'll share our creation with a special guest. I'd like to introduce my guest, Norman Alexander Gibbs. Hi there. Norman is an actor who is best known for his role in Airplane. <laughs> the philosophy of the show is simply good food and good conversation. I like to collect cookbooks because I love to learn about different approaches to cooking the same meal. I love food, I love cooking, I love learning about it all, and I love sharing what I know and what I cook with friends. Like most of us, I'm what you call a home cook. My background isn't cooking, it's really photography, film, television, animation. I was part of the original team that created the Macintosh computer and that wonderful intuitive interface. Whether you're a software developer or a chef creating a new recipe, you're essentially doing the same thing. You're taking a bunch of common, familiar ingredients, combining them in an original way to create this completely new product. If you're talking about home cooking, what you're really talking about are cookbooks. It's where we get recipes. When you're doing recipes, it's not like you're following a set of strict rules, although it may feel that way. It's really just a set of guidelines, which means that any basic recipe is subject to variation. Roughly how much cream are you adding? It's sort of an eyeball deal. You got it, right. There's no one right way to cook even a classic recipe. I think of a recipe as a story. When we cook, we're part of a continuing conversation about that story. Now, what we're making today is spaghetti carbonara. Spaghetti carbonara is simply eggs, bacon, and cheese tossed with cooked pasta. The story is that it first appeared during World War II when American GIs wandered into little Italian villages with their rations of bacon and eggs and asked the locals if they could make a dish out of the ingredients. And that ultimately gave birth to this now classic recipe. Think of cooking as an opportunity to be creative. Don't be limited by words on a page. Then we'll add the bacon. This bacon actually comes from the Bacon of the Month Club, which gives you every month a different bacon. Each week on Thing of the Week, we'll feature a new, unique item to make the cooking experience even more enjoyable. From foodie gift ideas at the holidays to unique touches that make a meal unforgettable, food is the perfect inspiration for great times with great friends. Pizza pie Cooking the books will not only show you how to prepare your meals, and we've cooked it just so they're still a little bit uncooked. Al dente, we call that. To the tooth. But how to serve and enjoy them to their maximum potential. Now this is the hard part, Norman. Okay. The eating. Ah. Mmm. Is it good? Check it out. Okay. Cooking the books will inspire anyone to open their cookbooks and dive into the exciting and dangerous world of home cooking. And save our eggs. It's what's between the lines in a recipe that counts. And that's what Cooking the Books is all about. The experience of bringing a recipe to life. Thanks for being with us for our first episode of Cooking the Books.